did you see that man and the little white dog? The man and the little white dog? He comes into the park every afternoon at half past two. He comes into the park every afternoon at half past two? Why do you keep repeating everything I say? I was just confirming the facts. He walks with a limp. He walks with a limp? There you go again. I'm sorry, I won't do it again. It makes him veer to the left. Is that his left leg? No, it's his back leg. Oh, it's the dog you're talking about. Of course I was. Are you following this conversation? Avidly. I'm all ears. Don't be facetious and keep up. I'll try. And sit up straight. You look all twisted like a corkscrew. I didn't know I was. My mother called it my languid look. Languid look? Yes, my Uncle Jeff has this look. That's what attracted Auntie Myrtle to him. Looking like that? Oh, yes. She thought he was the bee's knees. Bee's knees? That's a funny expression. Bee's knees? Yes, that was an expression back in the day. Well, let's keep it there, shall we? Any more tidbits from Uncle Terry and Auntie Myrtle? You just used one of those expressions. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. What was it? You said tidbits. Well, there's no wrong with tidbits. Then what's the difference between bees knees and tidbits? Lots of differences. I said tidbits and you said bees knees. Well, that sorted that then. Let's get back to business. This man with the little white dog. The one with the limp? The limp. From its back leg? Yes, its back leg. It veers to the left. You're at it again. I was just clarifying the situation. Well, you can be quite infuriating at times. Well, there's no need to get uppity. I wasn't getting uppity. And please keep up with the story. You were saying the man with the little white dog? Yes, I was. The one with the limp? All right, all right. Because of his back leg? Yes, yes, that's right. It veers to the left. Oh, we're right back to where we started now. Why? Has he gone round the green again? No, he hasn't. It's you. You are the most irritable person I know. Yes, I know. I'm a bit like my Uncle Jeff. Auntie Myrtle said he was the most irritable person she had to live with. What happened to them? They couldn't stand each other anymore and separated. You are mindful of useless information. My Auntie Myrtle says the same thing. Jack, she said, you are a mindful of useless information. Well, I'm glad somebody else agrees with me. I'm warming to your Auntie Myrtle. So did he? So did he what? Go around the green? No, he didn't. He went and sat on a park bench. A park bench? The same one. The same one? At the same time. The same time. Don't you think that's a bit suspicious? A bit suspicious? That's what I thought. Yeah, a bit suspicious. Then, do you know what happened next? What happened next? A woman comes up and sits right next to him. A woman comes up and sits right next to him? Same time. Same time. Every day? Every day. A bit suspicious. A bit suspicious. Then she gets out sandwiches. Sandwiches? He gets out a flask. A flask. And they sit there eating sandwiches and drinking tea. Sandwiches and tea. They never say a word to each other. And then leave after half an hour. Never say a word to each other. And then leave after half an hour. A bit suspicious. Suspicious? They'll meet up any minute now. Here she comes. <laughs> Look there. Sat together. Same time, same bench. Sandwiches and flask. Hang on a minute. That's me Uncle Jeff and Auntie Merkel. Hi, Uncle Jeff and Auntie Myrtle. That takes the biscuit.